So our mission at Ashesi University is to educate a new generation of ethical entrepreneurial leaders in Africa. And really, what we're trying to do is to teach critical thinking, problem solving, ethics, compassion, empathy. That's really what Ashesi is about. Um, and we do it a number of ways. One is the curriculum, which blends a liberal arts with applied majors, engineering, computer science, business management. The second is pedagogy, so using the Socratic method of discussion, debate, and also just project-based learning uh, throughout our curriculum. The third is fostering a campus culture of integrity, where students take ownership for their own behavior. Um, and then finally, community service, engagement with community, solving problems, and learning empathy, and the confidence that comes from actually solving real problems. The results have been phenomenal. Uh, 90 to, to 100 percent of our students are placed within six months of graduation. Um, and when I say placed, I mean they're getting into jobs, they're starting their own business, they're going to grad school. And wherever they go, they stand out. They're doing some pretty important things. They're literally affecting millions of lives. Whether it is peacekeeping in Liberia and Cote d'Ivoire, or helping with the Ebola crisis, or applying biometric technology to improve elections across the continent, they're doing some really major things. And we hear from corporate Ghana that Ashesi students and Ashesi alumni stand out. Which brings us to where we are today. We're 800 students, 900 alumni, and we want to move into systems change. And what we're going to do is pilot this year, this summer, what we call the Education Collaborative. We're going to start with 10 universities and share everything with them in a workshop format, our curriculum, our pedagogy, and hopefully you learn from them as well. The question that we have is how tight of a collaboration should that be? Should we get into the business of monitoring after the fact to see if curriculum reform has occurred or not in the institutions that work with us? Or should we just take an open approach of just sharing and letting people do what they will? That is the question before, before us today. So I look forward to the, uh, to the discussions uh, later on uh, this morning um, to help me think through how do we get this model of the Socratic method, project-based learning, the right curriculum deployed across universities in Africa. How do we learn from them as well? And how do we do it in a way that, you know, we're all, we're all super empowered? I, I worry a little bit that if we get in the business of following up and trying to um, ensure that curriculum reform has happened, that other universities might not appreciate that so much and that we might not be successful, right? And so maybe we should just sort of share and let things happen as they will. Thank you.